iteration of Spartan Fury is really focused on looking into the future with uh, new weapon systems that the Marine Corps is going to be utilizing in artillery communities. So this was really a test of not only our logistics but our comm capabilities, our communications capabilities, and setting ourselves up for success in the future, identifying some of those friction points that we may face in the future, dealing with these operations to secure island chains. This operation was huge at looking into the future and projecting what that's going to look like for us as we implement these new weapons assets. We're looking at a lot, a lot of integration with like multiple forces, joint forces, right? Uh, starting with our integration between Marines and the Navy. Most of the Navy's integration is typically your amphibious, right? Your amphibious ships. So this is one of the first times we're really seeing a crew des, a shooter, further our abilities with our data links and our communication paths and then spread them across the whole island chain. And across the island chain, being able to spread this all to our batteries at all different kind of locations, and then being able to share that data back and forth. I think the biggest takeaway is that we have the ability, we have the assets to communicate from several hundred nautical miles away, which is something that I never thought for an artillery battery would be possible. It was pretty incredible seeing how we had the main battalion on PTA, communicating with us, sending us missions, giving us displacement and placement orders from 300 nautical miles, something like that. It was pretty incredible.